The message I have for you this morning is, an, is titled, The Unfailing Love of God. The Unfailing Love of God. Can somebody say that? The Unfailing Love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Many people think that because of what happens around them, that God is not taking care of them. But that is not true. And that is what I'm here to say to you. And I'd like to read from my Bible. If those of you can open to it, Isaiah 54, I want to read verse 10. There the Bible says, For the mountain shall depart, and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord that hath mercy on thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. 
They'll be trying to solve a task in 10 minutes um, on Microsoft Word so as to show the world that there is ability in disability. have collated the results. Coming third position with a total point of 25 over 50 points is Aibe Karim. Third position, we know the sum of 100,000 naira. Which one is going to call him is not easy. And coming second is Agbo Pascalin, the only woman among them. She's um, a student of the University of Nigeria, Musuka. And coming first with 41 point, is okay, okay, you can look at it. Yes! Yes! Uh, uh, one, two, ready, let's go. And our winner for today is, uh, with a round of applause, is Victor. Victor. So well done. You've done very well. Give me your hands again. Well done. Right? So your prize will be sent to you by uh, the proprietor. Uh, Okereke and Mika going home with a token of 200,000. Give me all that. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Very, very, very well done to the three of you.
friends of Bethesda Home Slash School, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you all to this year's number one, International Day for Persons Living with Disabilities, number two, Ability and Disability Day, number three, Grand Finale of the Different Blind Competitions, and number four, Graduation Ceremony and Matriculation for some of Bethesda students. So you see that we have reasons to thank the Lord to hold this multi-dimensional praise day. Please tell your neighbor, I thank God that I am alive to see this day. Our thanks go to God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, our keeper, our redeemer, our supplier, our sustainer, our comforter, the father of the fatherless, the hope of the hopeless, our defender, our rock of ages, the ancient of days, our strength, our present help, our shelter from stormy blast. We confess that God has been faithful to us in Bethesda this year. By his grace, we have 120 students on our list. 86 of them are in various universities in Nigeria. 21 of our students have graduated this year. 25 students got admission in different federal various universities and no accidents and disasters. No deaths. Many have graduated in arts and crafts. We have been allocated a part of this compound for our own building, comprising of nursery, primary, secondary education outfits for school and housing units. And this building project is ongoing now at the site. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is, thank you, Lord. We acknowledge with sincere thanks and gratitude all those who have donated to us various items. We have numerous to mention. May the good Lord remember you corporately and individually for good. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive and he will deliver unto the will of his enemies. We assure you that your labor is not in vain. Bethesda is dedicated to empowering visually impaired youth across the Federation of Nigeria, transforming their destinies from a state of dependency to self-reliant individuals. Our commitment involves providing shelter, sustenance, clothing, and educational training up to the university level, all without imposing any financial burden on them. Even after graduation, if they are facing challenges securing employment, we continue to support them until they achieve self-reliance. Our efforts, thank you. Our efforts rely on the generosity of individuals, organizations, and benevolent spirits like yourselves present here today. Therefore, we earnestly seek your contributions, both in monetary form and in time, to sustain and expand our mission. Our vision 2030. Our vision is to be the best visual impaired blind care center in the world, empowering a lot of un unemployed blind youth to become self-reliant through government and individual cooperation with us. We are also working to have the best free federal special college of education in Nigeria and to help the less privileged ones in our society. Our challenges are many, however, let's prioritize them in the following order. Number one, food items. We feed as regularly, we feed over a hundred people three times a day. 24-7 basis and occasionally like today we feed over 700 people three times per day for about eight days three times a year number two equipment of our proposed home clinic number three laptop computers and accessories for the students in the universities and for the students here number four household items like soap toothpaste toilet rolls etc Number five, guiding cane. Number six, recorders, compulsory for undergraduates. Number seven, telephone adopted to blind use. 
Number eight, scholarship sponsorship for students who have gained admission to the universities. Number nine, no amount is too small. You can participate as an individual or as a group. Number 10, our crosswalks are also on display. Kindly buy ones to encourage our students who have produced them. Please visit us for your birthday or wedding celebration. We also have a standard band which you've heard today for your celebrations at any location of your choice. If you are interested in participating in any of our above projects, no matter how small, you can meet the director for more details. May God provide for you to help us, sir and Mars. Ladies and gentlemen, the performances you have seen and you will see today will continue to prove to you that there is ability in disability. All protocols observed, you are highly welcome. Thanks for coming and will remain blessed. My name is Dawakwe Metoma and I'm representing my mother, Reverend Dr. Choma Dawakwe. Thank you. I have always been a part of this poem, but what is significant and remarkable is that today I have been sent by our governor, Governor Babajide Olushola Sohulu, Mr. Capable, Mr. Sellable, to Today I'm here to represent Mr. Governor. Governor Babajide Olusola Sonwolu, our governor in Lagos State. He sent me as his representative. We celebrate Madam Chioma because she is the pillar of this home. She is the foundation of this home. Look, all I can say to you is may the good Lord continue to guide you. May the good Lord continue to protect you. May the good Lord continue to give you the wisdom you need to be able to steer this ship. We thank you, we appreciate you, we love you for what you do for these wonderful children. Without you, this home would not be as it is. We can only continue to pray for you and thank you and thank you and thank you. The thanks can never be enough, but we can only continue to show you that appreciation. And of course, to your beautiful daughters as well. Chioma Junior and Goodness, it's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, we thank you because you continue to give mommy that support that she needs. She cannot do it alone. She cannot do it alone, but we thank you. And to all the management staff that are here as well, we continue to say a big thank you. I have not started Mr. Governor's speech, but I'm doing this in my, in my own capacity because the thank you can never be enough. And may the good Lord continue to guide you as well, protect you, and lead you, and answer all your prayers, those you do openly and in the spirit. I bring good tidings on behalf of Mr. Governor Babajide Olushola Sowolu, who would have loved to be here in person, but unfortunately, he has not, he, due to all other exercises and um, all other exercises that are also as equally as important as this, he has not been able to make it, which is why I'm representing him. It is both um, to, the, to, to, to the children of the school. Please, I want you to listen particularly to this keynote address from Mr. Governor, because he has asked that I personally deliver this keynote address to you in particular, because today is about you. This celebration is about you. And as we prepare for the Christmas and yearly to the period, uh, he sends his special and warm regards. So please follow me as I give, deliver the keynote address. It is both an honor and a privilege to stand before you today as father of the day on this momentous occasion. The Pervesta Home for the Blind 2023 Graduation Ceremony and Matriculation Day. Today, we come together not merely to discuss an academic achievement, but to celebrate the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. Let me congratulate all the graduates for the successful completion of your programs. Your journey has been one of extraordinary courage, resilience, and determination. The obstacles you faced were not only physical, but often societal, challenging preconceived notions about the capabilities of those 
with visual impairments. Yet, here you are, having conquered the challenges and surpassed expectations, providing that vision goes far beyond the ability to see with our eyes. The, Beth the Bethesda Home for the Blind has been more than just an institution. It has been a place for learning, a community that understands the unique journey of each individual here. The teachers, the staff, and mentors who have guided you along the way have not just impacted knowledge, but have empowered you to become architects of your own destinies. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, remember and always remember that the journey doesn't end here. It evolves. You are equipped not just with the academic knowledge gained within these walls, but with the resilience to face whatever challenges that come your way, because you will have those challenges. Embrace the opportunity that lie ahead, for they are vast and filled with the promise of growth, discovery, and making a long and lasting impact. It is my hope that the skills you have acquired here will not only open doors, but also break down barriers for others who follow in your footsteps. Your success is not just personal. It is a beacon of inspiration for everyone who faces seemingly insurmountable challenges. I commend the gallant efforts and contributions of the visionary woman behind this success, Mrs. Choma Ohakwe, who has championed the empowerment of the visually impaired in our society. Your unwavering commitment and great passion to train and care for the blind has produced many successful and happy stories. I was reliably informed that you have sponsored many successful eye operations, and many of your students have gained admission, as we've heard, into, into and graduated from universities in Nigeria, several of whom are gainfully employed in reputable companies in Nigeria. You have significantly transformed and helped many through your initiative to improve the welfare of the visually impaired in our society. Through training in desired skills, sporting activities, and skills acquisition. As a result, many have established their own small scale businesses, contributing to the economic growth of this state. Please, I think she deserves a standing ovation, please. Please, I think she deserves a standing ovation. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Please have a seat. As a government, we do not joke with the issues of people living with disabilities, aiming to improve and support the lives of people with disabilities in the state is a top priority of us as an administration. We have launched the Secondary School Eye Health Program, the first of its kind in Nigeria, in continuation of our efforts to reduce visually impairment and eye conditions that cause blindness among students, particularly the pupils of secondary schools in, second, in, in, in the state. I think the governor deserves a round of applause for that, please. We have also put efforts into making diversity in disability to be seen by all in our day-to-day -day activities. The Lagos State Government, through the Office of Disability Affairs, LASODA, and other relevant government agencies, including the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, has continued to promote the rights and welfare of people living with disability in the state. Our public transport system now has special features. Have you all been on our, on our train? Have you been on our train? We will make arrangements for you to go on that. Our public transport system now has special features that caters to the needs of people with disabilities. Other initiatives of incorporation of ramps, tactile pavements with textured ground surfaces to one 
and guide visually impaired people are all being put in place. Just recently, we took the initiative to build a hall where people with disabilities can easily be reached to plan and execute various activities. We have continued to organize sensitization programs to, ed to educate people living with disabilities on the benefits of the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme, properly known as ILERA ECO, a program initiated to make healthcare delivery accessible to all residents in Lagos. I urge all of us to recognize the rights of people living with disabilities to live a life of dignity, enjoying equal access to opportunities of every other person in the society. In closing, let me join family and, fami family and friends to congratulate all the new students who are commencing on a new journey that will add value to their lives. I commend you all for seeing beyond your disability and taking this step of courage that will inspire others to follow your steps. I wish to use this opportunity to reassure all Lagosians that we are unwavering in our commitment as an administration to our policy of inclusion, which rests firmly on the philosophy of leaving no one behind. Congratulations to the class of 2023. May your paths be filled with success, fulfillment, and continued pursuit of knowledge. God bless you all, and I thank you for listening.